Hey Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have a full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces at 25 degrees conjunct Neptune. Wowza. Full moon lunar eclipses often bring fated chapters that are time to come to a close. And that is also what is going on for you. I think you are letting go of a lot of baggage it may have a connection back to 2016 when we had an eclipse, a full moon lunar eclipse at this similar degree in Pisces. We're going to get into this energy for you, pull some tarot, talk a little more astrology. So keep watching. So Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. So awesome to see you. So this full moon lunar eclipse is illuminating Things that you would prefer probably to keep hidden. But a lunar eclipse is so powerful, like the writing's on the wall, like you can't ignore it. This is happening in your 12th house of self undoing, of things behind the scenes, of where maybe you have felt trapped and imprisoned within your own mind or circumstances. So it's very, very interesting energies. We have Mercury finally direct, thank the Lord, finally direct in your sixth house of work and well-being it is opposite saturn in pisces also but not conjunct the moon i mean i like to have an orb of five degrees saturn is more at like 15 degrees so he's he's 10 degrees away from the full moon um in pisces but you know you you've had some things going on where you're realizing that maybe you're working against your own best self interests and it's time to stop that so there could be some things where there's been some self-sabotage, there's been some um, decisions that you're ready to make that will support your well-being, but it is time now to really see where you do need to make those decisions and where you have been perhaps undermining yourself or procrastinating to make those decisions. So the last time we had an eclipse very close to the same degree, which was back in September of 2016, when we had a full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces at 24 degrees, look back, maybe not just to September 2016, but to 2016 in general, what was kind of an energetic theme for you at that time in terms of creating new chapters, tying up old loose ends and getting ready to make new beginnings in your life? Like kind of kind of look at that time frame. There's echoes, there's echoes of similar vibes and energies with this full moon lunar eclipse. Your ruling planet Mars is in Cancer right now, which is not its optimal placement. I did a whole video on that. You might want to check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But Mars is in an energetic flow because it's in a water sign now, which is compatible with the full moon, you know, full moon energy of Pisces water energy, right? With the Neptune conjunct this full moon. So what this is saying to me is don't be afraid to dive into the emotional depths. Now, Aries, of course, can be emotional people. We're not saying you're not emotional, but your first instinct is to be is to take action. It's not always to go inward and reflect emotionally on what's going on. But this full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces conjunct Neptune is asking you to really take a look at your most fond hopes, wishes and dreams and be honest with yourself. What do you really want? What will nurture you going forward? And again, as I said before, where have you maybe not met, made the best decisions for your well-being, maybe putting other people first or not setting the bar high enough for yourself? Perhaps a little self-sabotage, maybe a little distraction and procrastination also, if those are things that are part of a self-undoing for you. Okay, so... All of that is some, you know, thematic considerations for you to reflect on at this time. So again, full moons, illumination, the spotlight on getting real, letting go of illusions that you can't do something, that there is a blockage, you know, 12th house can be blockages, that there is a blockage preventing you from accomplishing something. Aries can put their mind to anything they want, but... Again, there may be something that you need to adjust or make a decision about in order to achieve that hope and wish and dream. Neptune moon is very much about, you know, strong desires of 
what do we really want? You know, hopes, wishes, and dreams. It's Neptune. Now, sometimes they're high ideals of what we want, but there's nothing wrong with that either. I, I really don't think so. I mean, yes, sometimes we have to be brought down to earth a little bit, you know? Sometimes Aries bite off more than they can chew, so to speak. Okay, but there is a dream that it's not past its sell-by date. It is time to actualize it. It is time to step into your power with it, but there is something to adjust in your mindset. This full moon lunar eclipse is really showing you that the only limits that exist are those that are in your own mind. So let us start out with this shadow and light deck. I'll leave a link to it in the description of the video. Let's get in, let's get an energetic vibe for you with this and then we'll pull some tarot. Let's see what you need to know, Aries. Like wrap up that karmic chapter or let go of that energy that is left over. It's maybe not even yours to carry. It could be, you know, ancestral energy that it's like, uh, I can do this. I don't need to stay small or play small just because somebody else in my family did, or I don't need to pursue and fulfill dreams that are not my own, that really belong to somebody else. I mean, there could be some, some of that too going on, or I don't have to stay stuck in this town or this relationship or whatever, just because other people around me can't grow. All right, so let's see. Energy and motivation. Wow, beautiful. So yeah, this full moon lunar eclipse, we have the number 20 on here, is really showing you there's some sort of road ahead. I'm just looking at this. It looks a little like, it's a little hard to see. I can't tell if that's the writing on the boardwalk there. I can't tell if that's like an EKG. Like it looks like, you know, when you put the heart monitor on and you see the blips, but it also looks a little like musical notes. I can't tell. It looks like there's little rose petals here. Um, but if you're feeling low energy, which could be attributed to sun opposite Saturn, which we've just had the last couple of days, which was heavy. Um, and of course your ruling planet is in cancer, which again, not that it's optimal, but it is going direct. It's not retrograde yet. Um, you know, what, what, uh, what are you wanting to give your energy to? If you're not feeling motivated, is it because you're giving your energy to the wrong things? Again, the sabotage aspect because this eclipse is in the 12th house. This eclipse is really showing you where you can let go and get back your energy and motivation to move forward on your hopes and dreams. All the red that's showing up here, which is your Aries red color. And there's a whole new road ahead of you. It's a whole new road. So this, this is major energy for you. Let's see what we need to know. So if you're feeling low energy, it could be because you're you know, you're not on the right path for you. You didn't choose the path. And maybe again, it was a, a significant other chose the path or you felt you had to follow in the family footsteps or whatever. So there is something about you going into your feelings, Aries. Mars and Cancer and all this water, you know, and admitting, are you on the, uh, are you on your self-determined path for your well-being? This may also be connected with your work because of Mercury in your sixth house right now in Virgo. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got going on. Aries. Two of Cups. The Lavas. Hermit in your heart. Ten of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. So this may be related to a job, a career situation. We have, to me, this is Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles. We have Pluto back in, in Capricorn again. Of course, he's been in there for quite a while, stirring up your 10th house of career. And again, it may have something to do with that with Mercury in your sixth house of work. Um, I think what we have, I mean, we have the hermit in your heart. So you do need some time for some spiritual reflection on, um, you know, whose hopes and wishes and dreams are you fulfilling? Um, and it could be family related. Ten of coins can be a family legacy kind of energy. Like I was saying before, um, you may have wanted to follow in uh, somebody's footsteps. 
okay, with this uh, two of cups and this lovers here. Um, out of loyalty, out of, you know, maybe you really did love the career you've been doing up to this point. Um, there could be somebody who was close to you, who kind of steered you in the right direction. Maybe they, they taught you. This could be a teacher or a mentor. It's also possible here with this, this lovers. Um, but what I'm finding and what I'm feeling from this is you're, you are sparked with this eclipse to move in a new direction with this Knight of Wands. Um, you have, tens are about completion. You have fulfilled some sort of destiny already. Ten of coins, either for the family, with a career. So you could be contemplating some career shifts for yourself, which again has been Pluto in that 10th house for forever. And this could be also like you've really enjoyed what you've been doing possibly for the last decade, you know, six to 10 years. Maybe you've really enjoyed what, what it's been, but you're ready for a fresh change. It could also be because you want to actualize and manifest greater finances for yourself with the 10 showing up here. So you could be poised on this kind of spiritual dilemma. You could also be doing some sort of shift, making some different choices uh, with realizing that you may be loving something you're doing in your life for career, but perhaps, again, depending on your personal situation, maybe it's not paying the bills enough. And maybe you do need to focus on a new direction where you can actualize more finances or financial, long-term financial stability for yourself. So you may be making some choices to go in another direction. I mean, we have the twos here. We have a two here. I would suggest you talk something over with a trusted advisor or friend with the two of cups showing up here. If you're feeling just overwhelmed by this, uh, you know, full moon lunar eclipse energy, um, I feel like you're choosing to close a door because again, this person's back is turned to this. Something is coming to, I think, a satisfactory conclusion. This is nice energy. Jupiter is in Gemini right now. It's your third house. It could be also the way you're living your daily life is going to be changing because something is changing with your career. Some of you might be contemplating retirement. Again, letting go of one chapter. This is completion and moving in a new direction. In my opinion, Aries never retire. They're like Capricorn, okay? Because they gotta stay active. So, you know, I, my stereotype with my Capricorn rising of retirement is somebody just playing golf all day. And golf is strenuous, yes it is. Um, but, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't think Aries is gonna play golf all day. Like, they need to constantly be involved. They're gonna probably volunteer, like with Habitat for Humanity, build houses, like, you know, like Aries is gonna be out there doing stuff with a little golf maybe thrown in, if that's your thing, okay? But, you know, so I think, like, again, you're, you're, you're wrapping up one road, one chapter. It was successful. You may be moving toward another. So, um, and that's what we have going on here also with this energy and motivation. Like there is a new road. The North Node is still in your sign. <laughs> it's not out yet. Um, so it is time to, to acknowledge that. Now, some of you, it's possible there may be a parting of a ways in a friendship or a romantic connection. Uh, there's nothing negative here. There's no bad cards. It can just be that you're growing, growing apart. There could be an, some sort of amicable a separation only because you're going in different directions. That's all. I, I don't like you could still stay stay friends with somebody. It could be a friendship. Somebody's moving away. That's possible also with this energy. We have moving energy with the Knight of Wands. You could be deciding to move away and go in a different direction and leaving somebody close, a close friend behind. It could be that type of thing also. But it is time to take care of your well-being. This writing on the wall what you need to feel energized, motivated, on point again, right? And where you're gonna find some fresh energy, Knight of Wands, very energized, very motivated. So it's this is bringing to light things within you. You need to look at emotionally and spiritually to get your mojo back, get your energy back to go on this new path that will bring stability, and possibly more money or a different career, something like that going on for you. 
Okay, so, you know, if you have a situation with this lover's two of cups, you know, as I've said before on the channel, you know, sometimes people just grow apart or circumstances take us apart from people because that's modern life. You know, it's not like the old days when a lot of people stayed in one place. The old days. I mean, what is the old days? Okay, But you know what I'm saying? Like, like the 1970s, is that the old days? Um, you know, it's modern life. Like, people often live far away from family and friends or they have to move for work or they want to find a cheaper place to live or they're going to retire and they want to be in the sunshine. They lived all their life in the cold. I mean, et cetera, you get it. So interesting things going on here. I love this Knight of Wands at the end of this reading, like this re-energizing of what you need to feel excited about your life again. And you could have been presented with some choices already, right? You could have already two options in mind of where you're going to go with this Knight of Wands. It could be that this full moon lunar eclipse really gets you in touch with your deepest emotions of what you need again for your well-being and helps you make that choice of where you want to head next with that Knight of Wands. So Aries, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with these energies. I would love to hear. And if you feel so inclined, please do consider leaving a like, thumbs up, sharing out the video to people who might benefit from its messages. Because when you do that, it helps the YouTube algos, powers that be, recognize the video is valuable and it pushes it out to more people. And it's a win-win. And I, it's such a simple thing and a wonderful thing. I really appreciate it. If you feel so inclined, again, you don't have to. But if you do, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for doing that. So Aries, you know how much I love you guys. Stay frosty, stay cool. Don't run away from your emotions at this full moon lunar eclipse. Change is on the way. You've been waiting on a big change. I know. Because <laughs> your soul sister has been waiting on it too. It's coming. And we have our big full moon uh, it's not an eclipse, but our big full moon in October, the middle of October. There's big changes afoot. Stay frosty. Do what you need to do to take care of yourself emotionally. And let's continue on this adventure together. All right. Love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wild signing out.